lucky fishers, you get to go on safari in both South Africa and Kenya on the same day. So a big welcome to our schools. Remember to send you questions. We are with a pride of lions at the moment. Well, three lionesses to be exact. And they've been looking at those zebra over there. And they've been sneaking closer and closer and closer. Now, what they really want is for those zebra to come close to this little ravine next to us where they can sneak up on them because if they had to go up there I think the zebra would spot them because there's not lots of long grass so there's one lioness off hiding in the grass we can't really see her here you can see the second lioness just over there and the third lioness is even further away on a termite mound down there now this is the Angama pride they live right below our camp so we see them quite often there's something going on behind me. Sorry, Dave, I've just noticed. There are a whole bunch of vultures. I think there might have been another kill up there. Maybe hyenas. Like, you see you see the vultures on the ground? Oh, on the ground. On the ground, on, the, on, the, on that crest there. Wow, I wonder what's going on up there. Oh no, too many decisions to make. Do we stay with the lions? Or do we go see if the hyenas have made a kill? There's a hyena den not too far from there. Can't see, maybe there's even another lion up there. You never know. Isn't this just exciting? Now, these ladies, I don't think they're going to move too much. I think they're going to wait a little bit for um, the zebras to maybe come down or move into an area where they're going to get a better chance to catch them. Oh, look, she's on the move. I wonder, I don't think these lions have spotted the vultures. Otherwise, they would also go investigate. I just suddenly saw them swooping down behind me. Maybe that's what she's seen. Hi, Betty S. Betty's wondering why the lions aren't hanging out together. Well, Betty, it's because they're hunting. So they're stalking in different zones. So if an animal happens to run away from one lion, she might, the animal might accidentally come into the lion. You can see how she's keeping her head flat, moving through the grass. I'm gonna have to move the car. She's going to go right behind us. Hold on. Oh, she's disappeared into this little ravine next to us. I don't think she's seen the vultures. Now, sometimes the vultures like that could be attracted to a birth. So the afterbirth left from a, a, a birthing of an animal. Look out for holes, Dave. Lots of warthog holes here, or artfark burrows. We don't want to fall into those. How are we looking? All good. All good. Let's just go a little bit further down here. Ooh, scary stuff. Hi, Isaiah. Isaiah's wondering, do male lions ever hunt? And yes, they do, Isaiah. I'm just trying to see what those vultures are up to. Now, they do, they spend a lot of time away from the females, so they do hunt quite a bit. And uh, it's one of the biggest misconceptions that, that, that lions, male lions don't hunt. They spend a lot of time on their own away from the pride, and sometimes they might even have four or five prides uh, that they are in control of. So they will move between the different prides, and while they're moving, uh, they will hunt and often they can catch much bigger things than what the lionesses can so they are much much stronger so they can take down things like hippo and buffalo all by themselves hi sean sean is wondering how fast can a lion run well sean their top speed is about 21 meters per second but they can't keep it up for very long it's normally only for about My mic audio. Yep. Sorry about this. We are live from the middle of the African bush. Um, it's all fine on my side, Dave. Yep. I got you on the top mic for now. Okay, well, I'm back. I'm back. There we go. I'm not sure what happened there. Sorry, guys. We are live from the middle of the African bush. Sometimes these things do happen, but we are with 
the Angama Pride who are on the hand. Okay, Dave, don't worry, we are back. We are back. We are going to disappear again. Oh no, we are on ambient mic. Sorry about that. One second, guys. Battery change, quick as a fiddle. At least the lions aren't moving too fast, but Dave's moving very fast to change the batteries in his mic pack. There we go. Well, thank you, thank you, I'm back. Although we, you were listening to me off the ambient mic. Um, now, what we're gonna see here is something that's very, very unique that you're not gonna see in many other places in Africa. Now, if you look carefully up the hill, there are some cows and they are being herded by Maasai. Now, the Maasai are the local people in this area. They actually own the reserve and then it is leased f from them. Now, the lions tend to stay far away from cows because they are very scared of the Maasai. And when they see a Maasai, they tend to run the other direction. So even though those cows have been there the whole time, the lions haven't even looked at them and they've just stayed focused on the zebra. And now, as it starts getting later in the evening, the Maasai are going to take their cattle back up to the top of the hill where they're villages are and uh, they'll put them in a fenced safe area and just in case the lions forget that they're not supposed to eat cows you can actually hear the dong dong of a cow bell in the distance Kennedy's wondering why don't female lions grow manes well Kennedy it's quite simple uh, they don't have to fight as much. A male lion grows that mane because it protects him when he's fighting. Also, it can help him avoid a fight. Now, that sounds quite funny. So, if he's got a big, bushy mane, it might look quite scary to another male lion. So, he might run away instead of fighting with him. But uh, it's mostly there to protect their neck, uh, head and throat when they are fighting for territory with other male lions. Oh, there's also some impala coming down with an impala might move closer towards where the lions are sooner. There they come. Isn't that cool? Well, everything's still quite far away at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go have a quick look what those vultures were up to up on the hill. But while we do that, Jamie has got a creepy crawly with eight legs to show you. 